The following video is broadcasting live and thank you for being my studio audience. Thank you for hitting thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more black news, celebrity entertainment, and a splash of controversy. What up and welcome back. It's your girl Jane. The plain is Jane and boy do we got some syrup to get into. Come on in. Have a seat on the bus. Okay. Talk about leaving a digital footprint. You might, you might not catch the joke right now, but trust me, when we get into these nasty, these dirty, these disgusting details, okay? You'll totally understand that pun of a joke, all right? We definitely have some things to discuss this evening. So like I said, come on in, hit thumbs up on the video, okay? Y'all know when y'all on my bus, when you're on my channel, you're on my bus, and I require you to pay your fare, which is free. It don't cost no money. Get comfortable, okay? This is one of the videos that does have one of those nuggets in it. So to all of my channel members who are playing Beyonce Box Bingo, Yes, this is one of the four videos this week that will have the nuggets for the Beyonce box giveaway. Y'all know I got four Beyonce boxes. I'm keeping one for myself and I'm giving three away to my channel members. Okay, so happy wetness day, everyone. This is some really disgusting stuff. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it off, right? I'm going to start it off um, by letting you see the cat. Okay. Oh, I'm going I'm to let you see the low-down, dirty, nasty, bad kitty cat, okay? And that would be my co-host, Leo, right? And once we get into the video, right, or if you already know a little bit about this subject, you probably thought I was going to show you something, didn't you? Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go on about your business. So that's it. That's it. You want to, uh, That's it, buddy, buddy. That's it. Right. All right. Let's get into it. Right. We've got this YouTuber on the screen. I'm not even going to waste no time getting into the subject matter. Right. And we do have another show planned right after this. Y'all know how I do. I transfer y'all right over to the next video. I mean, as soon as I hit the end button on this live, we're getting started with our regular black news bus lineups with all of the things, celebrity entertainment, black news, real news, viral news, all that other stuff. Right. OK. Um, so I'm kind of like, where do I start? I was extremely perplexed when I woke up this morning and saw not only black Twitter, cause y'all know I'm a proud representative of black Twitter, all of Twitter, okay? All of Twitter, it don't matter what nationality, what race, which origin, which creed you are, everybody was dragging this man right here you see on the screen. Murad Morali exposed, baby. When I tell you he's into some, mm -mm, he's into some nasty stuff, right? And this really, it's not about kink shaming, right? It's not about shaming sex workers, right? It's not about that. It's really about the racial undertones that we have here and, and why they're so polarizing and appalling. If he was a random person who, um, you know, didn't speak on um, Black issues, right? If he wasn't always using Black women to come up, it probably wouldn't be as shocking, as appalling. Here's what I want to do, because this is a YouTuber who honestly, um, you know, I cover Black news, right? I really have only come across one of his videos, right? So I barely know who he is. But when I saw his name this morning, I was like, oh, yeah, I know who that is. He just celebrated 300,000 subscribers, but he's lost 12,000 already because of the scandal. When you make 12,000 people unsubscribe in a day, you done really messed up. You done really messed up because... Even Tasha K getting sued by Cardi B, she ain't lose 12,000, right? She lost some, right? But she gained them all back. Nonetheless, where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? I'm going to start with the fact that this is a YouTuber. You, it takes a lot for me to talk about a YouTuber. This is an ecosystem and an environment that I have myself to survive in. And I do kind of look at co uh, YouTubers as co-workers, right? We're all on this platform to collect a check and make money. It doesn't mean that I like you. Trust me, it doesn't. It just means that I typically stay away from YouTuber news. I do. Um, however, this was so appalling and so concerning that we need to go ahead and we need to talk about it, okay? I totally see why he's losing these subscribers. And I think he probably needs to lose a little bit more. And that takes a lot for me to say. Y'all know I lost 102,000 subscribers at one time when YouTube decided to kick me off. Let's get started. Marat Morali, he reviews this show frequently uh, on his channel, 
primarily Love Island, right? It's called some reality love show dating situation. You know, he talks about Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson. And I believe that's how I found him was through like a, a, a Kim K commentary or something. He makes really short videos, three to seven minutes. Um, something came across as really disingenuous to me in his videos, which was why I didn't stay me personally. Right. Um, so it, it's something about it just seemed really unnatural, manufactured. And yeah, that's that. Right. So here's him and his black allyship right because you know you, you you see in the title i put black ally okay um and so here he is next to black woman because he's used a lot of black women black black people um i won't say he's used black talking points because you don't have to be black in order to speak about um being to speak about not being racist right to speak about anti-racism but this is a gentleman who gentleman a roughman, right? All he does is spend a lot of time taking up for black women, defending black women, defending black people, speaking down on racism. Like this is this has been a big part of his brain and why and how he was able to grow so so fast, right? It, like seriously, his subs grew a lot. And um so let's see, because you can you can see what he's seeing right here is he's using these black women as a prop for his social media. That's what he does. You know, he says it's not enough to be not racist. You must be actively anti-racist. OK, justice. And, you know, he's he's definitely used a lot of black causes to show support and to demonstrate allyship. Come to find out it's all a lie. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. Shout out to 180 of us in here right now that quickly. Please make sure you do your due diligence and hit thumbs up. It'll help me out. And it'll also help you find other great content creators once you hit thumbs up on this video. Okay. Because then they'll pop up in your algorithm. Let's get into another piece of information. I'm going to give you a trigger warning, right? But we haven't gotten into the not safe NSFW yet, right? Or NSFM. Here's another thing he had to say, right? Because he's, he's, he's big on like accountability, right? Here, this was a tweet from 2020, right? Because he's been reviewing Love Island for quite some time now. This is how he was able to grow his channel to 300,000 subs, okay? He has since apologized, and we're going to watch his apology together, right? He says, we need to discuss Jess and her fetishization for Black men. Hashtag Love Island. So he brings up the word fetishization for Black men. Hmm. Okay, come to find out he fetishizes black men. Oh my God, it was so appalling this morning. I needed to wash my eyes out with some soap. Do you hear me? I mean, the blood of Jesus, three times strength, eye drops in my eyes because baby, when I tell you Twitter was popping this morning, exposed the living shit out of him. That is exactly what they did. Lord have mercy. Do I start with the videos or the screenshots? Oh, which one should I start with? Let me give you a trigger warning right now. Now your kids really shouldn't be in this room. Your kids should not be watching this video. Do you hear what I'm saying? Please get your kids out the room for right now. C click pause on the video and go, go tell them to play with their rubber duckies or something like that. Lady Webb, thank you so much for joining the channel. If you are interested in the Beyonce box giveaway, check the members only community tab, the rules and everything and how to enter and submit are all there. Okay. So I guess I'm going to start, I'm going to start with the video and then we'll get into the screenshots. Cause then that'll help us to read some of the things that are in this very disturbing video. Okay. And if you haven't already, if you know somebody who either watches the show or knows of him, make sure you share this thing. Okay, you on my bus. Let me pick up your friends. Share it in your group chat. Share it via text message. Share it on Twitter or however it is that you share videos. Okay. Buckle in. Buckle in because it's some nasty shit. Right? Mm, 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 mm. So let's pull up this video. And, and a lot of it has honestly been deleted. But um, and, and I can't show you all that I've seen, obviously, because this is YouTube. But uh, yeah, some of this stuff is disgusting. Okay. So uh, feet fetishes are a real thing, right? A real thing. And um, yeah, let's just get the volume up and get started. Oh, that you know what? They may actually, there's not a lot of sound here, right? Okay, so you see his foot in this man's mouth. Do you see his foot in this man's mouth? 
can belong to my higher feet. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. Who owns you? Uh, you must. Why do I own you, dirty pig? Why? Because I'm your slave. Good fucking cunt. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Right now. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This is beyond out of pocket. Okay? And we ain't even got to the worst part yet. All right. You want to lay on the floor and be somebody's slave and let them... You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know. But we get into some slurs in a second. And the slurs ain't even just towards black people. Like this this, this guy... All right. All right. Let's... let's you got to take this video in increments because baby... Dirty white faggot. Here I am, you dirty white faggot. Oh my god. How he going? Okay. Look, look. You have to be my feet, you cunt. Anchor here any for everybody because that is. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We We totally need to get ourselves together real quick, right? Um, we've got to go to the bush and weep. We have to. It was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. Because I know you lying. You know what I mean? Like, I, I know, I know you're lying. I know you're not. I know, I know that this is not what's happening right now. Like, you've got to be kidding me. I just. Can belong to my Arab feet. Fuck yeah. Who owns you? Uh, you must. Why do I own you, dirty pig? Why? Because I'm your slave. Good fucking cunt. Dirty white faggot. Here I am, you dirty white faggot. Ciao. Give a to be my feet, you cunt. I can hear any for everybody. Okay. Because all right. All right. You know, I am I am just I am just disgusted. I'm disgusted. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you ever been at work watching something that you know daggone well ain't appropriate for work, but you be in the bathroom and in the corner like what? Like that was me this morning at work. Like I know you. <laughs> Somebody in the man said he put his best foot forward. It, and that, you see why I came in the video and I said you talk about leaving a digital footprint. Like <clears throat> this digital footprint, baby. Apparently he has an OnlyFans, and somebody in there decided to expose him. Let's get into some of these incriminating captions and things he's written. Then we're going to get into his apology. And baby, ooh. oh my gosh, let's, let's get into the caption. <laughs> let's get into the caption of one of these things, okay? 244 people up in here, okay? Thank y'all for hitting thumbs up on this video because all of y'all support, it really means a lot, right? The free support means just as much as people who send cash apps and super chats, okay? So let's get into these captions. Hey, thanks for letting me keep you connected and in the know with what's happening in the black world. Don't forget to smash on that like button for support and for more black news. All right, so the caption on this video, this video, and like I said, I can't show you all the videos. I seen all the videos this morning and baby, it was out of this world. I mean, him sitting there fetishizing black men in the army and you know, they call them foot jobs. They call them foot jobs when you take your feet and you rub it up and down the hot dog. And some people really reached a falling point off of that. Like they really climb it. That was all on Twitter, right? The before, the after, all of the babies laying on the black man's stomach. You see what I'm saying? It was a lot. And then he had a nerve to be telling us about it every step of the way. It was horrible. We... I, let me get myself together. Okay. 
All right. So this is a black man here worshiping his feet, as he calls it. All right. Let's get into this caption. He says, this dirty N-word with the hard E-R, okay, was making love to my feet the only way it can come close to any real success in their life. It. This dirty nigga with the hard ER was making love to my feet the only way it can come close to any real success in their life. After brushing the stress and living on low income, oh my God, it craves my big Arab superior feet to loathe on as the only good comfort in its life. My monkeys are good at worshiping my feet as they know they'll never get anything better in their lives since they're another inward nigga with the hard ER child. First of all, he doesn't know how to use there in its correct um, in its correct context, right? Because that's definitely not how you spell um, they are. But uh, yeah, that's the least of my words. God damn it, this is disgusting. This is out of pocket for that shit. Way out of pocket. What do you gain from that? I'm telling you, this is um, this is way beyond out of pocket. Okay. Oh, but that's not all. Like I told you, it wasn't just black people he's um he's talking down on, you know. Um, Twitter's been on his ass. They even tracked down the hotels he's been staying at and telling the hotels. This hotel room you see right here is one of them. Now, I won't go that far to put this hotel on blast, although it is a hotel in New York. But, and I do know the person who actually, don't know him. I found out who they were online today. The person who leaked this, but that's a whole nother story too, Okay. Here's this one of a man. This is a Chinese man. And you do know that when you say C-H-I-N-K, right? C-H-I-N-K, that's a slur. That's a slur. You're not supposed to say that. Like, you're not, you know, like, okay. But of course he says it because this is what he's into. So here he is. I forced my terrible slur, okay, maggot with an F, to make it understand what it is. This is essential for programming to reconstruct their minds to make them realize they are nothing but dirty little, here go the two slurs in a row, child, C-H-I, maggot with an F, used for my big Arab feet whenever I want Oh my goodness, he used it again, child. C-H-I slur were born to be used. They were born to be inferior. Ain't that crazy? It's crazy, right? He knows crazy. Leo knows crazy. You know, you see, you see how he's looking? He's like, this is crazy. Um, yeah, I just I hmm. It gets worse it gets worse i'm shocked <laughs> baby i am appalled do you hear me okay okay here's the next one the next one says and and i oh jesus i i can't even tell you all that i've seen today of this mess so here he is his legs are laying right here there's a man here with a cup of, you guessed it, pee. Pee, y'all. Pee. Here's what it says. It says, as I lay back and relax with my big Arab feet resting on my CHI slur child, my CHI, he uses it again, right? Um has now been blessed with the reward of drinking a full glass of my warm Arab hiss. And it did so. My, he says the slur again, bows its head to show a form of respect, to show that it is thankful, to show that it needs to make me proud. And 
my, insert slur here, did so. After worshiping my boots, sweaty gym socks, and my big Arab feet and legs, it was now time for the next step. It was time for my slur to drink a full glass of my Arab piss. And that was its drink for the day. So this some R. Kelly shit. Okay. This is what that's that's what this is. However, um it was gone. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep. Really. I, I don't understand. I swear to God, I don't understand. This is so out of pocket. It, it really, really is. Thanks to 300 people being in here. That means a lot. Yeah, this this is uh, just, I can't even. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. Let's check out what his sub count was before this. I've been monitoring his sub count all day since I found out about this. At like 9 a.m. when it was way too early to be looking at any of this stuff. But I did because I'm nosy. And I also fell down the rabbit hole and I said, let me tell my people about this. Okay. He had 300,000 subscribers. He had just celebrated that. And now he's down to about 200 and I think 88,000. But let's take it a step further. Let's go ahead and get into his apology video. And when I tell you this apology video was weak, I mean it. It was weak. Oh, it was weak. It was terrible. It was terrible. Okay. <sighs> All right. So we see he's down to 288 this morning. When I had first got to his page, he was at 293. Okay. So he's lost at least uh, 12,000 thus far. In my mouth. I started watching this apology and you can see I literally got to right here. And I said, you know what, let me stop because I'm going to watch the rest with them because I, I just I couldn't even believe that he was saying out his mouth. Before we get into his apology, let me remind you that he has a degree in neuroscience and psychology. OK, so, um, you know, he claims he's um, an Arab, but he does have degrees. So look at how this apology is structured. Think about his degrees. And yeah, let's go ahead. This entire video I, I'm, I've just filmed is very triggering. Oh, it's very triggering, is it? It's just titled Addressing My Past, by the way. Okay, let me go ahead and hit that. Is extremely emotional. And I just need to put this in there because there's a lot of heavy content in this video. I don't know how I'm gonna begin this video, but everything needs to be addressed with immediate effect with immediate effect. First and foremost, the written content is not me. The severe derogatory comments are not written by me and I will stand by that. This is not who I am. Some of this content is also not me and uh, I can profusely apologize and take full accountability for how they- Wait a minute, buddy, hold on. You already starting off on the wrong foot with me because you said it wasn't you, but you're saying you can apologize. We heard your voice. You have very distinct legs. You have very distinct feet. I've been all through your all day today, baby. I really had, but uh, okay. This has come across and how everybody has felt from this content. Some of this content is me, not now, not recently, in the last five years, six years. Lies. Not any moment now. Lies. I've seen screenshots from May of 2021. He's lying, talking about five years, but continue. I don't know how I'm going to do this video. There's, I, I don't know what, I don't know how I'm going to say all of this, but I'm just going to speak from the heart and just speak on the camera and just talk. These screenshots associated with these pictures, these vile racist verbiage that has been used is not written by me. This is not done by me in any capacity, and this needs to be made abundantly clear with full force. 
immediately. All of this needs to be addressed. I did not write this stuff. People make their own captions. They mix it with their own pictures for their own satisfaction, their own desires, with their own fantasies, their own ideations, whatever they have, and they put it together for their own mental satisfaction, for whatever desire that they have as a person. Nobody actually knows about me because this channel is not about me. It's about reviewing content. That is what it's about. Mm -hmm. And in order to really actually discuss this properly and coherently for everybody, mm. because that is what everybody deserves, mm. a proper explanation and timeline of everything. And that is what I'm going to do now. Some of this information that I'm going to reveal, I did not want to reveal. But I've had no choice now but to reveal this because I need to reveal it and it needs to come from my heart to everybody. Yeah. When I was 14 years old, I was severely raped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, fun to be blunt. Thank you so much for the nine ninety nine super chat. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate you saying great coverage because I'm 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 in a mix between trying to give y'all coverage and 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 still trying to stomach all of this my damn self because this is a lot. This is a lot. It's a lot of lies. It's a lot of nastiness. I, I just I, I don't know. Uh, so you go from saying you're going to take full accountability, you're going to explain it. And then you go into what you saying happened to you when you was 14. It's just real convenient, bruv. It's real convenient. You're a waste man. Like, I mean, like, I'm... He went... It's, it's this... He go from this really straight face to, here you go. And it's like, this is... This, is suppo this looks like an acting... Like he's sending in a reel to somebody like he's trying out for an emotional role and he just can't find the tears. Some of this information that I'm going to reveal, I did not want to reveal. But I've had no choice now but to reveal this because I need to reveal it and it needs to come from my heart to everybody. Look at When I was 14 years old, I was severely raped. Girl countless times I was just a kid man uh, I was severely raped I had genitals shoved in my anus I had feet shoved in my mouth and I can never get it out of my head and it fucked me up relentlessly Every other night, I couldn't escape it. It happened all the fucking time. I couldn't escape it. But no one, no, no one knew. No one knew. No one, nobody knew. And I said to myself, I want to do whatever the fuck I need to do to get out of this place or it's going to happen again to me. So I did just that. I developed these fetishes, this foot fetish. Sure. I developed it through what happened to me. And I needed to make money. That was my only goal, to make money, to make money, to make money. All It was all about money, 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 money. Because money is what I needed to get out of a place that I was being brutally fucking raped in. This is the truth. This is this is who I am. Oh. This is who Murad Murad is. Who you and get, I'm saying it to you now. Who you getting loud with? Who you getting loud with? I don't appreciate that. You can talk regular. Damn. Transparent about every fucking little thing because this is who I am. This is why every mother, everyone says to me, Murad, why are you so daily inconsistent? I'm not daily inconsistent because uh, of, of, you know, I'm putting videos out. I'm daily inconsistent because I know I need to make fucking money. If I don't make that money, I'm going back to a place where I was fucking raped yep. every single other day. <sighs> Tearing me inside, literally. Why is somebody doing this? Why is somebody doing, why does somebody act like this? Why do, no, this behavior that is being witnessed currently 
is not normal behavior. We can all agree. It comes from somewhere. Why has Morale gone into clinical psychology, cognitive neuroscience, psychology, 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 to find out why the fuck I was a freak? That stupid degree to fucking help me find out why I'm such a freak, to get it out of my mind, and it never fucking worked. So that is where this all came from. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you behaving this way? Why, why, why are you doing these fetishes? What, 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 why are you acting in this way? Why are you doing this? Because this is what came, this is what happened to me, and this is what developed. And so I did it to get out. I had to get out. I had to do anything to get out. I would be a fucking prostitute if I, if I had the, if, if I could, I would have, 110%. But I didn't. But if I could, I would have. To make any kind of money to get the fuck out. Can I find one person in the chat who's buying any of this? One, just one person in the chat who's buying any of it. Put a one in the chat if you're buying some of this. Put a two in the chat if this is some damn stale baloney. Okay? God damn. This is out of, out of order. Out. Because it was either that or I'm going to die. And then the same thing happened again. Yet again in the mosque. I know I'm, this is a lot of information. But I need to be fucking transparent. Oh. And there needs to be transparency from me. Oh. That is what everybody deserves. Bye. And I can't get it out of my head. Uh-uh, buddy. Uh-uh. I can't get that out of my head. I was a kid, man. Why the fuck are you touching me like that? Why are you touching me like that? And it never fucking stops. just a kid man I was just a kid man stop it inshallah I'm praying to Allah that my life is taken not you praying okay I pray tonight I'm gone I genuinely pray from my heart of hearts that I do that my life is taken what? because I can't do this anymore I know I, you could, nobody even knows this fucking shit it's all daily and consistent. Pretty, pretty, pretty shit. I tried anything. I tried everything. Everything in my power. Everything in my power to get out. It needed to be addressed immediately. And I needed to inform of all the fuckery I went through. Because that is a huge point of what happened. I uh, appreciate everybody who's watched this very serious video. Because the content is very heavy. And just to reiterate, these specific racist captions were not written by me. I did not sit there and do that mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't believe you, buddy. Sell it to someone who's buying it. I'm not your buyer, buddy, because I don't, I don't believe you for now. One second, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't believe it. <laughs> buddy, buddy, when I tell you I don't believe this, that is exactly what I mean. I mean, I, I just, all the cuts in the videos, it's just too much. It's just too much. Then you're going to get loud and you're going to yell at us. Like we did it. Like we did it. We didn't do it. You did it. Y'all, this was th this was a hot mess. Let's, let's give you a, a little more information about this situation. And shout out to all 400 of y'all in here right now. This means a lot. If you haven't already taken a moment subscribe okay if you haven't already the very least you could do is hit that thumbs up button otherwise i do i do fight <laughs> we can throw hands if you don't want to hit the thumbs up button because it's free okay but brooklyn queen 125 thank you so much for the 50 dollars super chat it says <laughs> tiny violins they go straight to victimhood thank you for exposing these pathetic individuals absolutely because the thing about it is you know, for him to have this degree in neuroscience and psychology he knows that bringing up trauma that bringing up, uh, you know, victim, uh, whether it did or it didn't happen. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just saying don't lean on that as a crutch to why you at your very big age, why you're doing this. If, if it's this easy for you to turn around and say, I'm sick and I'm twisted because of this. If you're that cognizant and self-aware that this is the root of your problem, then why haven't you taken the steps to fix it? This man is making buku money between YouTube and OnlyFans. People with 300,000 subscribers are making a pretty 
coin, okay? A pretty coin, right? So there's no reason why he hasn't done what needs to be done in order to remedy his issues. And, and what he's trying to do is disarm people. He's trying to soften people and make people feel sorry for him and using this as a sympathy ploy to halt the accountability that is so swiftly coming his way, okay? It's not working over here. It's not working. It doesn't work. It doesn't make sense. Now, he does have, I know he has a couple of sponsors. Anybody with 300,000 subs has got to have several sponsors, right? But he's got one in particular that has actually already taken the steps to take a few, um, to, to put some space in between their brand and him. And they wrote the following on Instagram. <laughs> they wrote the following on Instagram. I see that was one person in the chat, child, that really believes this mess. And you know what? More power to you, child. If, if, if you believe this mess, if you foolish enough to believe this, right? And to let him to just br bring up something from his childhood, then shame on you, okay? Um, here's what's going on from one of his sponsors, okay? Frontline therapist in London, UK, okay? So it says, my company, Frontline Therapist, has recently been promoted by Mr. Murad Morali on his YouTube channel and his social media. Let's get into the statement that this company actually released to separate themselves from him. It says, my company, Frontline Therapist, has recently been promoted on his channel and on his social media. This was a part of a paid promotional campaign to build our brand. Hence, our dealings were purely business related. As the founder of Frontline Therapist, I take full responsibility for the promotion. Allegations have recently come to light about Mr. Murat Morali's past conduct and behavior. I was totally unaware of this, and I personally find the allegations disturbing. As the director of Frontline Therapist, I and the company do not endorse his conduct and behavior. My company would have not engaged in any business dealings with him had we known about this beforehand. Hence, we're in the process of seeing if we can get the content that we created with him removed. My company will not be working with him in the future. Thank you to everyone who reached out to support me during this time. And she leaves her name. The businesses are already jumping shit because again, like, look, we live in this day and age where we got to be sensitive to everything. Like we can't, you know, we, we can't make fun joke or get a couple laps off on nothing without the PC police. Woo woo. You shouldn't be making fun of that. This is not about, again, it's not about kink shame. And some people are into the foot stuff. I used to date a guy that was insanely addicted to feet to the point where he really didn't want me to wear sandals because he felt like other men, like, bye. Um, you know, but that's just me, right? It, it was just too much. Um, so everyone's got kinks, okay? So there's nothing, nobody's shaming him for his kinks. Nobody's shaming him for, you know, dealing with sex workers or whatever the case is. Um, anybody in positions like that, he's not in a relationship. These are people who are being paid to be degraded, right? Um, it's the racist stuff. It's the hard ER. It's the C-H-I-N-K word. Like, just completely out of line. Completely out of line, completely out of line. And this is why people are backing away, okay? Backing away from him. Again, you know, you've got 12,000 people that he's lost in less than 24 hours. Let me refresh this page and see if there's been any more, child. Okay? 12,000 subscribers in less than 24 hours. Like, this is a, um, it's crazy. It's crazy. It took everyone by surprise. Um, I'm still shooketh by it, especially when we look. I would like to know how much he's paying these people too. Um, I'm shook, okay? I'm shook. He lives in the UK. I see somebody saying, where does he live? Um, I, I believe he lives in the UK, okay? So yeah, th th this is just really a disgusting situation. I really want to know what you all think about this, okay? Let me go ahead and say this to my regular and my faithful subscribers, okay? Real quick, right? Because y'all know I, I forgot in the last video. This is, um, what I'm going to give you right now is the Beyonce bingo number, okay? So for anybody who is entering the giveaway, if you are a channel member and you're trying to win one of the three Beyonce boxes, this is the Beyonce box bingo number, okay? You know you've got to collect four of these numbers throughout the week. They'll be placed in different videos and may the best man win. Okay, best man, best woman, whatever, right? 
So that's the Beyonce Bengal thing. I didn't want to forget about that. Okay. Um, and yeah, this is a really disgusting situation. I would love to know what you all think. Uh, maybe he'll go back to his old job, which is just putting feet on people. Okay. Um, I, I'm flabbergasted. I'm, it's, it's rare that I'm speechless, but this is one of those times. Um, $5 super chat from nosy hole Scooby van says he needs to bite the pillow and take his public humiliation as karma. I agree. I agree. Like this is, this is a lot, right? And, and I see some people in the chat saying they're going to unsubscribe and look like I'm not the one to, um, I'm not the one to celebrate someone's downfall, especially if it's something like a mistake. Like if you made a mistake, if you reported a story incorrectly and didn't know or whatever, but this is not that we're talking about racism. Is this forgiven? Especially when the remorse is not there again for him to be profiting from race play when really profiting from race play by night when by day he's on his YouTube channel, also advocating and profiting off of speaking out against racism. It's a no, no, you know, he's used black woman. He's used black culture, you know, for his come up. He is a faux ally. And, and this is one thing that I really have got to say. We've got to stop inviting everybody to the cookout. Just because somebody, you know, appears to be an ally, right? And they get they shoot you a little bit of defense one day. It doesn't mean link up. It doesn't mean that they good for you. Anybody can come up and say, hey, leave this person alone. And you just going to assume they're an ally? Like, no, no. Stop inviting people to the cookout. We need to gatekeep more. And we really have to keep an eye out for people who use this type of guise of faux advocacy in order to get in our good graces as black people. We do. Some of the signs were there on his social media. He's definitely not a person that I follow. Um, but as I was looking through his social media today and what other people were realizing from him was on his Instagram and other places, he's like posting pictures of his feet, um, hashtag feet, hashtag pretty feet, hashtag hairy legs. It's like when you go and you look at his Instagram, even right now, you can see it's like he really prioritizes his feet. Not that there's anything wrong with that, right? Like some people, they really, uh, they always want clean feet. Um, but he always puts this eerie, um, this eerie, uh, just th this pressure there, right? He prioritizes them in a, in a very odd way. Um, and look, I've been down the rabbit hole with foot lovers, right? Like my ex that I was in a relationship who had a foot fetish. I went through his phone once and it was bizarre. I mean, his search is, I mean, the stuff, the different things that people like to see with feet is crazy. And so looking at this man's social media, I can definitely tell. I can definitely tell. I could definitely tell, but, but <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. This is a crazy situation. If you haven't already taken a moment, there's 400 of us here and I appreciate that. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Okay. It's free. I keep y'all informed with some of the best black news and celebrity entertainment. Although this isn't a black person, this does still pertain to black people considering the slurs. Okay. So I want to know how you feel about it. This bus is going to let you off and it's literally going to dump you in my next video, which is starting in less than 10 minutes. So you'll already be in the chat. Y'all know how I do with these bus transfers, okay? So we have a really good show coming up in less than 10 minutes, okay? As always, I'm sending y'all positivity, good vibes, and all that stuff. Um, y'all make sure to stay beautiful, black, and blessed. And whatever color you are, still stay blessed, okay? Okay. Most of my audience are black folks, so I'm always, you know, catering to um, blackness. But listen, hopefully I ruined y'all appetite this evening. Hopefully I didn't cause you to get any indigestion, okay? Because this is disgusting, all right? Let's keep the conversation going down below in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts on this situation, and I'll see you on the next bus ride. Thesis. But that's it. If you want to catch more of my commentary on black culture or vital and trending information, be sure to subscribe by hitting that little circle in the middle of the screen, or I'll catch you in one of these rectangles to the right in another video. I'll see you there.